So for many young Americans, Cesar Chavez is someone they've only understood through history books, if at all. What made this man such a singular force, a true American hero? Well, Caesar really, you know, his, his leadership came from a place of empowering others. And that was the entire movement, was, was going to these farm workers, men, women, and children who were, were so uneducated, so illiterate, so unresourced, and saying, you can be your own change. You don't have to wait for someone else to come and make the change for you. And he gave them a way to, um, to find their voice and to use their voice. And I think that that is the American dream, that we live in a country where the power is in the people. You know, that's the, that's the pillar of democracy, right? So I think that, you know, Cesar Chavez is, is, is an incredibly American um, role model. Cesar Chavez is bold in it that it breaks the biopic genre of to offer a human portrait of one of history's most influential leaders. How did your experience on the film deepen your own regard for Chavez? Well, I um, what I found so interesting about Diego's vision for the film was to really humanize Caesar and to not make him to to kind of do away with the iconic heroic kind of, um, you know, building him up as, as, a, as a hero. Instead, the goal was to make him feel like a man, like a mortal, like you and I, so that, so that the audience watching it could see themselves in his struggle, that heroes aren't born heroes. They, um, they grow into leaders because of the need and the necessity. And, and one way of achieving that was to depict him as a father and as a husband, as he was, and, and also to show the sacrifices that his family and those around him were asked to make in order to create that change. The film offers a look into the complexities of being a trailblazer and its effect on those around such committed individuals. Do you believe that Chavez's legacy would not have been the same without his wife Helen and his family as principal collaborators? You know, I think that Chavez and that Caesar and Helen, they married when they were about 18 or 19 years old. And so they really grew up together. They formed their views and opinions of the world together as a partnership. And they both lived this reality. Both of them worked on the fields since they were children. Helen, since she was seven years old, she was working in the fields. So um, this cause was deeply ingrained in their relationship. And, um, and I think that, that, you know, who can say what Caesar would have accomplished with, without Helen, but, um, but I think that who he became and who Helen became was deeply informed by their marriage and their relationship. And Diego Luna succeeds in presenting Chavez's life as a relevant lesson in the civil responsibility. How do you hope this multi-layered look at Chavez's life impacts the audience, particularly Latinos, appreciation of this American hero? Well, I would hope that Latinos watching this film would take so much pride and so much inspiration in what is possible in our communities. You know, we are the leaders in our communities and it's up to us to empower ourselves. And for me, that manifests itself in voting. And, you know, we are becoming the face of this country. And for the issues that we care about to be discussed and talked about in the halls of power and for us to be a part of that conversation, we have to claim that political presence. And to me, that means registering to vote, getting into the minds of our communities and to our youth that, that change will only happen when we show up for ourselves. And so, you know, if I had to say there was, you know, one first step towards becoming politically relevant, it would be to register to vote and to show up. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.